September 25, 1957. As hundreds of U.S. Army troops stand guard, nine black students are escorted into Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas. That happens two days after unruly white crowds force the children to withdraw from trying to enter the all-white school. Decades later, one of the nine, Ernest Green, recalls the first major fight over racial integration of America's schools. It was one in which we thought we were simply exercising our right to the best education that was available in Little Rock, Arkansas. You know, lo and behold, I think we were right. 1919. President Woodrow Wilson collapses after a speech in Pueblo, Colorado, urging support for the Treaty of Versailles. The treaty officially ends World War I and sets up the League of Nations, a forerunner of the United Nations. Wilson soon suffers a massive stroke that leaves him partially paralyzed. The U.S. Senate fails to ratify the treaty. 1897. William Faulkner, considered one of the great American novelists whose works include The Sound and The Fury, is born in New Albany, Mississippi. 1931. Barbara Walters, the TV newswoman and talk show host, is born in Boston. Her career milestones range from The Today Show and 2020 to The View. You win some and you lose some, and I guess the only difference now is that I'm very happy when I get there, and I don't want to sound like the world's mellowest person, but if I don't, it doesn't kill me anymore. And 1944. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Michael Douglas, movie actor and producer, is born in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Among his on-screen roles, Wall Street, Fatal Attraction, Basic Instinct, and The American President. Today in History, September 25th. Tim McGuire, The Associated Press.